up you guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome so for today's video i thought we would sit down and just have a very chill very relaxing get ready with me i'm going to be using the products that i showed in my sephora sale recommendations i've also been getting a lot of requests to do an updated get ready with me so that's what we're doing today so grab a snack or get ready with me because we're just going to chit chat and put some makeup on okay so i'm going in starting with the summer fridays jet lag mask i always 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 put this on before my makeup oh my face is so soft it feels like a baby's bottom I shaved my face yesterday, like usual, like I've done on my channel many times before, but, but, instead of using, like, the face shaver that I used to use and, like, what pretty much everyone uses, I started using this. This actually my boyfriend bought because he bought a kit to, like, shave his face, and I stole it to kind of, like, dermaplane shave the, like, little peach fuzz and dead skin off my face. Be very careful because this is a literal straight razor. But when I tell you, it works so much better. My face has never been so soft. But again, you need to be very careful because this is like a legit straight razor blade. But I thought I would give that little tip if like you're used to shaving your face, you might want to look into that. I'm probably going to get screamed at for doing that on myself. But I've been doing it for a long time and it really works well for me. And my face just feels so freaking soft. Next, I'm going to just spray a little bit of the Veil Soft Focus Spray. From hourglass on my skin and i'm gonna put a little bit of the hydro grip primer i don't put a lot of this i literally put one pump and i spread it around my face and i kind of uh, work it in my face until it's sticky so once it feels like tacky that's when i know it's good to go for my foundation we are using the iconic foundation duo that i'm absolutely obsessed with it is the Ilia true skin serum foundation in the shade selena and the it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream in the shade medium so all i do oof, this packaging i need to clean my makeup i just take a pump of each foundation and make a little concoction sometimes i apply with a brush i really like the it cosmetics brush but today i think i'm just going to apply it with my sponge this is my second time filming this part i actually already applied my foundation and had to wipe it off because i saw that my mic was not working i've been having a lot of issues with this mic so i think it's time to look into getting a different one i don't really want to because this one was heckin expensive so today i'm filming this on november 3rd which is also election day which oh i have anxiety today and i'm in canada so I can only imagine how you guys are feeling over there in the United States, thinking of you all today. I know how difficult, how anxiety inducing today is for a lot of you, I can only imagine. Every time I talk about the election and what's going on in the United States, I always have like at least 50 people being like, why do you care? Why you're Canadian? This doesn't affect you. It does affect me, obviously not as much as me living in the United States, but Canada and the United States are so intertwined that of course I'm so invested in, you know, American politics. Everything America does affects Canada. And I also recently just learned, let me know if this is true for you in the comments down below, but I recently just learned that America doesn't get global news. I'm going with the Kosas Concealer in shade 3.5 and one, that was just like a fact that kind of blew my mind because for me it was so normal to, you know, when I look at the news, get news about America and like what what's going on in the rest of the world. But apparently in America, if you want to know about what's going on in the rest of the world, you have to like actively like search for it. It kind of makes sense because that's why I'm so like invested in like America's election and what's going on because we learn so much about it on the news and in school that I'm like, of course I'm invested. But anyways, we're not here to talk about the election even though it is important, I hope you guys all voted. My channel, I always try to like keep it very mellow and like kind of happy because I want it to kind of be like an escape for you guys rather than, you know, making you more anxious, which is probably what I just did to you guys. I apologize for that, but I did want to talk about that because it's important. Anyways, on to more of an exciting topic. It's almost Christmas, you guys. For me, like starting November 1st, like as a kid, November was kind of always like, a, I hated November as a kid because I, my family, like my mom always put up our Christmas decorations starting December 1st. So November was always like waiting. Like we, we didn't decorate yet. We didn't celebrate yet. But now that I live alone, I can put up my Christmas decorations whenever I see fit. So I said, 
November 15th is when I'm gonna decorate for Christmas. Some people already have their trees up and you know what? If my decorations weren't so buried in my storage closet, I'd probably be more inclined to put them up sooner. Having to fish those out, I'm not looking forward to that. But I already have Christmas music playing in my house. My favorite Christmas music is from like jazz Christmas music. Like in my house, I have Christmas jazz playing like 24 seven, like starting November 1st. My favorite Christmas music is by Frank Sinatra, I love him. He's like probably one of my favorite singers. Like his music just truly makes me so happy. I feel like people my age are like, oh, I love, who do people love? Oh, I love Drake, I love Cardi B. And I'm sitting here being like, I love Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Told you guys I'm a weirdo. For cream contour, I just used the Fenty Beauty Cream Contour in Macchiato. I went to Bath and Body Works today and I picked up all of my favorite candles for the holidays and I have a winter burning downstairs. It smells so good. Okay, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Press Powder in one. I get so many questions about what I'm doing with buying a house. A few months ago, I said that my landlord was selling the condo and I didn't know what the heck was happening. So basically, I had a lease, so I was protected by that lease. I could stay, um, like I was legally allowed to stay. He ended up selling his condo to this very nice man. In that time, I was like, do I continue renting? I was thinking about maybe buying this condo or do I look around for a house? I'm going in with the KKW powder in two. So I was debating all those things and basically I had ended up deciding that I wanted to buy a house. Well, have you tried to buy a house recently? Because the real estate market is going insane. Houses are literally flying off the shelves. Like, like they are going so quickly. The thing about that is that people are selling their houses for like way higher than they would have a year ago. So right now, I don't want to buy a house just to buy a house because buying a house is a huge deal. So I'm waiting just, you know, until the right house at the right price goes on the market. I have until June to in this condo and then I could sign the lease again. So there's really not that much pressure on me to move out, find a house. And I definitely don't want to buy a house just to buy a house. So that's where I'm at. I don't really have any plans. I was thinking about building a house, which, you know, is still a possibility. And you know, with everything going on in the world, I'm just not too sure what our next step is. I'm not rushing into it because buying a house is a huge deal and the funny thing is i still got a lot of dms being like when are you moving to texas i would love to move to texas you know for taxes and all that fun stuff because taxes in canada are especially quebec are insane i don't want to talk about it but i'm not moving to the states anytime soon i just could not leave my family i'm gonna do my brows off camera and then i'll be right back i'm having a little bit of technical difficulties with my eyebrows but I hate spending more than like a minute on them. I used my Precisely My Brow Pencil and then I also used the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. This gave me a little trouble today, not even gonna lie, but it's okay. For my eyeshadow, I'm using the Kaja um, Chocolate Dahlia eyeshadow thing. I'm going in with the middle color first and I'm just gonna go in on a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M441 brush. And I'm just gonna go in and put it in my crease. I wanna know what your favorite part of doing your makeup is. Like my favorite is foundation and concealer and baking. My least favorite has to be my eyes. Like I absolutely hate doing my eye makeup. I don't know what it is. I just, I wish I loved it, but I really don't. I'm gonna go in with a little bronzer and I'm just gonna deepen that up and kind of blend it all together. I like putting bronzer in my crease because I feel like it makes my whole face kind of like blend and look cohesive and just like a little bit more natural. My eyeshadow always looks nuts when I do it on camera. I'm like editing and I'm like, what's going on there? Okay, so then I'm going in with the little top shimmery color. And just patting that on. I love this color so much. I put it all over my lid. How pretty is that? It's so gorgeous. And then I'm gonna go in with like a little bit of a smaller brush, a little bit more compact. This is a 
MAC really old brush. I think this is a 217, but I could be wrong. I'm dipping into the very bottom chocolatey brown color, and I'm just going to darken up the crease like very slightly. You only need a little bit on your brush. A little bit goes a very long way. That's when I'm feeling a little frisky. That doesn't happen every single day. Okay, for eyeliner, this is what I do. It makes it so easy. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in the shade Barbarella Brown, and I'm using the Laura Lee Los Angeles brush in L20, the eyeliner brush. It is so freaking good. I've never had a brush like this, honestly. I think my thing is breaking. <gasps> it is breaking. What the heck? Charlotte. So we're just going to draw a line you know like a, you would regular eyeliner but this combination is so good because the eyeliner is actually very very creamy it's like almost like um like a gel eyeliner and then this brush makes it so easy to apply and then i always do my inner corner of my eye A little tip for doing the inner corner of your eye if you kind of turn your face towards the mirror so your inner corner is facing the mirror like for this eye i'm turning my face this way for this eye i'm turning my face this way and then you kind of just draw a line it ends up perfect every single time okay for mascara i'm just gonna curl my eyelashes with the shu amura eyelash curler do a few pulses and then i'm going in with the charlotte tilbury legend legendary lashes volume 2 mascara i love 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 this one for like an intense black look it's so good i always start at the bottom and then kind of flick up and it gives you those like doll like false lash look lashes so i'm gonna kind of like press and wipe this bake in under my eye i'm just gonna take a small brush and do my under eye shadow For bronzer, I'm going in with Hoola mixed with Hoola Caramel. For blush, I'm going in with the Cream Blush in Summertime Wine from Fenty. I love this blush so much. I picked some up on the back of my beauty blender and then I kind of just stick it here. I don't go all the way down because then I kind of find like look like a clown. And then if you put it here, it really lifts your cheekbones and kind of looks like you got cheek filler, which I've never done, by the way. For lips, I'm going to be using the nudist lip liner from Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna put a little of the Clarins lip oil on, which is my absolute favorite lip oil. Alrighty, and then for highlight, my favorite part, we're gonna go in with the Smashbox Halo Glow highlight. We're gonna start with this like little creamy one. And then I'm going in with the powder one. All right, you guys, that's it for my Get Ready With Me. I hope this answered some of your questions on what I've been doing lately for my makeup. If you have any other questions, leave them down below and I'll definitely answer them. All of the products that I use in this video will be linked down below as well. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I love you guys and I'll see you guys back here next time.